know what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what? You know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, I'll let your boy when we get home. All right, man. Let's talk about Devin Haney now. You know, yesterday he said that. Uh, or the other day he said that he to he to move up. Um, he to fight Lomachenko. Excuse me. Now he's saying that if it's no Ken Bosa rematch, he can move up to 140 pounds. So uh, now apparently Ken Bosa has until he has around 30 days to decide if he want to rematch. Now the issue with that is that the Australian government gonna put the money back up. And if, if there's any demand over there for the rematch in general, so he showed nothing. He showed nothing to warrant a rematch or the interest, the interest anybody to come back to Marvel Stadium to to watch the fight. So he might just be ass out now. You know, could Devin Haney, you know, and them, you know, put a bigger offer up for him? Yeah, you know, somebody from could come to the United States, they could, but. You know, at the end of the day, like I said, when you talking about the Lomachenko fight, they excited and they just made no sense to me. Um, going to 40, I mean, you know, might be stronger, might be, you know, stronger, might punch harder at 40. Um, but like I said before, it's a lot of different variety of fighters at 40 that we'll talk about. But check out the box moves, playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Says Haney, Devin Haney might move, Devin Haney moving up to 40 if no. Rematch with George Cambosos. So it says Devin Haney says he'll be moving up to 140 next if he doesn't fight a rematch with George Cambosos. So Haney says he's going to sit down with his team and decide the next move. Devin isn't sure whether ESPN or the people in Australia that are putting up the money for the rematch between him and Cambosos so will be willing to do so. It was too much of a one sided contest for a second fight between Haney and Cambosos. So it might not be worth it for ESPN or Australian government. Haney, 28 0 with 15 KOs, defeated. Unified lightweight champion Cambosos, 21 and 10, last Saturday night to become the 135 pound champion. He said if Haney doesn't rematch Cambosos, he like Javante Davis or Lomachenko, or Salomachenko, those fights will be at 135. Moving up to 40 will lead to Haney having a lot of options uh, for interesting fights. He said, quote, they put so much money on the first fight with the hopes of making it on the second fight, said Haney to the boxing voice, but the Australian government put up a lot of money in his fights. In his fight with Ken Bosa on June 5th, quote, we just got to see if there's interest uh, in second fight and if ESPN is interested in the, second, in the second fight. It's got to make sense for the networks, for people that are putting the money up, said Haney about a potential rematch with Ken Bosa Jr. He said we have to see if Ken Bosa actually wants it. Uh, he said he did. The second fight said Haney, quote, if I don't fight him, I don't think I'll be fighting at 35 any longer. We got to see if he wants to fight. Uh, I'll probably have to vacate because it's a rematch call, said Haney. So, there you go. Moving to 40, I'll open a lot of doors for Haney. Regis, Progress, Ramirez, Catarol, Zepeda. Uh, he said some of these guys will be highly dangerous for Haney. He's going to need to focus on his defense a little bit. A little a little bit money if he wants to win. I don't know what that means. That's a typo. Quote, if you can't fight another fight at 135, if he wants to fight Loma Tank, those are fights. That interest him the most, but I'll fight anybody. My team will sit down and see what's uh, more interesting. Said Haney. Now, um, like I said before, man, uh, you don't fight Lomachenko. I think that fight can happen. I think that fight can happen, and I think Bob would be willing to make that fight happen. So, I don't really know why that wouldn't happen, but uh, us, you know, Lomachenko need a tune up since he's been in the war and. All that type of stuff, and you know that's understandable. You know, if you need to tune up, you need to tune up. But I don't think Devin Haney gonna be hanging around uh, to do so. But yeah, Cambosso got thirty days to do a rematch, and you know, with you know the networks and the Australian government or whoever putting the money up, they go to America. Is that enough? Is that enough time for them to you know get everything squared away? So I don't know. I don't know. That's that's up to them. So, uh, but I don't know. You know, maybe he said after the fight, Ken Bosa, that he wanted to fight the rematch, and you know what he did wrong, and you know, I don't know how you know he did that quickly that wrong, but that is what it is. But uh, but you know, we gotta wait and see. We gotta wait and see. But you know, Devin gonna enter at 140 pounds. That's highly interesting.
because it's a lot of it's a lot of high risk there and low reward. You know, you think about it, bro. You go to 140 pounds, probably might be the best division in boxing. You know, 54 good. You know, but 40 got new flavor and a lot of undefeated fighters. Maybe not as battle tested as them because it's in a new. Uh, uh, it, most of these dudes are fairly new, but you know, Josh Taylor sticking around for whatever reason. Why? Um, he probably need to move up, but he probably don't want to move up. Montana Love, Sandra Romardi can box. Jose Pedraza supposed to be taking on uh, Richard Comey, Victor Postal, a good fighter. And then also, people forget the grudge match. He had a little beef with Gary Russell Jr. Gary Anton Russell Jr. be taking on Francis Bartholomew. Bartholomew, you know, at one for, uh, on a Danny Garcia, Jose Benavidez card. I think it's what, July 30th or something like that. He'd be taking on him, that background, Akadama Dov guy that the a lot of people thought be Barrios on the shot with the Sean Porter or Spence undercard. Um, like I said before, Arnold Barbosi undefeated, Sabriel Matisse, big puncher, uh, Richard Progress, Jose Zapata. But the thing about most of these dudes, most of these dudes can punch. Stephen Lopez there. Most of these jokers can punch, though. You know, that's the biggest thing about it. A lot of these dudes comfortable, they can punch. Um, you think about it, Lopez can punch, Russell can punch, Regis can approach, Ramirez can punch, Zepeda can punch, Sabriel Matisse can punch, Montana Love can punch, Brandon Lee can punch, uh, Catterall, he show versus uh, Taylor, he can punch. So, I mean, a lot of these dudes can punch. So, his, his, yeah, he, we have to focus on, you know, but a lot of can these dudes really box like that? And that's the question. A lot of these dudes really can't box. Most of these dudes are just punchers, bro. But the thing about it is Devin, Devin Haney got an advantage with reflexes, defense, boxing, and all that. But yeah, I wouldn't be defense responsible in, as defense responsible either if I can crack you. So a lot of these dudes can crack, man. A lot of these dudes, man, his his boxing going to have to be on point. That five pounds going to have to mean a lot. It's a lot of risk up there. But he'll go up there and be, he'll be the biggest name up there. By far, he'll be the biggest name up there. So he'll do what he want to do. Also having the titles, he can fight whatever title he want to fight for. But with Josh Taylor and him, people talking about they should fight. You know, they both train with Ben Davidson. That's what people forget. They both train with Ben Davidson. So, um, so I don't, I'm not sure that's going to happen. Ben Davidson couldn't, you know, go to Australia neither. So Ben Davidson couldn't go. Bill originally couldn't go. So um, I'm surprised they didn't just say let Ben Davidson in. You know, let Bill sit out. But, uh. I mean, it is what it is. But, I mean, good options, man. Either way, either, either how it go. You know, good options. You're in control. You can do whatever you want to do. You can petition to be the mandatory for belts at the next time, uh, some of the belts at the next level. I mean, sit down and just figure out. I seen he was back, you know, uh, running the other day. He got back to Vegas. Like, he was back running and being focused and stuff of that nature. So, um, that five pounds might mean a lot to him. You know, he's growing. He's a growing man. So, like I said before, man, his, his speed and reflex is going to be something up there. It's crazy. But a lot of them dudes power punchers up there. So, a lot of them dudes can punch. So, like I said before, you know, like you got to keep them off of you just without boxing reflex. His boxing ability going to give a lot of them dudes up there problems. But it's going to be the brute strength of them dudes and the, the power of them dudes. But it would be interesting. Yeah, you know, they not they far from unbeatable, but yeah, they far from unbeatable though. Real talk. You know, they they all could be beat, but we see them catarol, but there's a lot of danger up there. It's kinda of like the new fifty it's kinda of like fifty four. You know, very dangerous. A very dangerous division. But um you know, that, in, in that scenario, uh, what he should do? Mm. Mm. In that scenario, uh, me personally, mm, I don't know, man. Whatever makes sense, bro. You know, he know how his body feels. If you feel like you're ready to move up, it's time to move up. You know, but they don't eat real no easy fights up there, though. Everybody kill us. Want to fight Lomachenko? Fight Lomachenko. But Lomachenko didn't give you the opportunity, but it still would be a good fight for the fans. It would have been fire. You know, that Lomachenko and Haney, you know, he didn't give you the opportunity. 
then Shakira and the man in the vet day there too. Living fire, but yeah, Lomachenko don't deserve it. I make Lomachenko get it the hard way. I make Lomachenko get it the hard way, bro. I make him pick each each and of them belts up, but he still got Shakira Stevenson. He still got Shakira Stevenson, so there yeah, ain't no shortage for uh for opponents. Ain't no short ain't no shortage for opponents for him. So I mean it's, you know, he got the pick of the letter, bro. You know, I don't think they're gonna put the money up for Cam Boss or rematch. You don't have to defend undisputed. Um, you know, Tank probably ain't gonna fight. Leonard Ellaby was on uh Sean Porter podcast. Uh already let you know that they they really ain't interested in it. Um hold on. Oh, let me see. Listen, it's okay. Yeah. But at the at the end of the day, they all got to come see the big fella. Mm-hmm. And that's Tank. Uh, uh, how would that fight look? We ever get it? What, Tank and... and uh, um, Devin Haney, yeah. Come on, man. I got somebody going to sleep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got somebody. It's like, it's, it's different, man. It's different. You know, I, I know they boxed. But again, I'm going to go back to this. In a 12-round fight with eight-ounce gloves, I'm going to just leave it at that. But I, I, Tank Davis beats all those, like. All right. If Tank Davis beat all the, like, heavyweights, bro, hold on. Just being honest with you, I mean, it's like, it's one thing winning titles, and, and then it's another thing with when people want to pay to see you. What mm-hmm. mm-hmm. is the difference? Mm-hmm. That's what the fans got to understand. It has nothing to do with uh, Devin's a tremendous young fighter, and I commend him. Um, congratulate him on, um, you know, winning the undisputed um, championship uh, last night. I didn't really get a chance to. So like I said before, they always want to hide behind money. All the titles don't matter. The titles don't matter. Without the titles, Floyd, you know, Floyd wouldn't have been who he was. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you can go ahead and continue to run their mouth about the titles and run their mouth about this, run their mouth about that. But, uh, but it is what it is. That's his perspective on it. And, you know, it is, I mean, so we already know what time they in. It's deflection season. And we don't even know if Tank's still promoted by them. But, hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase the channel. Don't forget to get notifications. We'll live drop a video. My name is you want to support the channel. Cash out. Dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Memo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love and support. Fast way to reach me is Twitch, Twitter. I mean, so that's right. You know, you can reach me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. All my social media links in the description. If you had a business question, inquiry, response, or video quest, all of them there, man. Appreciate the love and support. Uh, one time for the one time. Peace.